both mentors and consultants goal is to do is to make better writers and as a better writer there's different methods for different students of how they get there some students want to talk it out some students prefer to write it down and some students do different brainstorming activities but whatever it is we all have a common goal of to create a better writer and I know just working at the writing center has helped me to grow as a writer just by seeing different students and whatnot and I feel like one of the greatest things about being a mentor is we're a bridge for the students as well as the professor. Sometimes the professor wants to communicate something to the students and the students don't necessarily understand that and vice versa. And I feel like being the you know, in-between person that kind of understands both aspects and helps me understand and helps me to relay the message to whoever needs to hear, whether it be the student that doesn't understand the assignment or the professor and why the professor doesn't understand why the students don't understand the assignment. Um, I feel like it also opens up a relationship with the students that professors might not necessarily get to have with their students. If a student feels more comfortable talking to a peer, I feel like that's the kind of person that I want to be is I'm still the same person as far as a student goes. I'm still a college student, I still have everyday struggles like they do, and I feel like that's something that we have in common which helps us to grow with that relationship that professors may not necessarily be able to grow with their student. So I feel that students can get a few things out of working with the writing mentor. Uh, first, they're working with someone of the extension of a semester. So they're having help every step of the way, continuous help on their writing skills. You have the writing mentor that can help them develop their own writing style, which is really key in continuing on with their education and for other classes, not just one class. Uh, you also have someone who knows the assignment that they've been working with you closely and so they can help clarify any misunderstandings that the students may have on the assignment. And that's something that a consultant can't necessarily give all the time when they just see the person one time and don't know what the professor wants. So the students are able to understand the assignment so that then they can write about what they need to be writing about. And lastly, I think that the writing mentor serves as a bridge between the professor and the students. So you have students who feel intimidated by professors and won't go talk to them, but they can always go and talk to the writing mentor. And in my experience, I feel like students are way more comfortable coming to me and asking me questions than the professor. to be proactive, engaged, in how class is run. Um, so you can expect mentors to be willing to voice student concern um, and any uncertainties they have about writing uh, and ex what's expected of them. Um, you can also expect mentors to work with you to clarify the student, what, what's expected of the students. Um, and you can expect honesty and communication. Um, and so that can be uh, the mentor's role is sort of a buffer between the student and the professor. Um, you can also expect mentors to be approachable. Um, we like to have this open line of communication, um, and so that way we know what's going on in the class. Um, now, primarily my role as a mentor, and all of our roles, is to help the students. Um, and we can do this in a variety of ways. We can run workshops, run peer review sessions, and we can also work with students individually. Um, that being said, uh, not necessarily an uh, editor or a proofreader, but we all have a keen ability to help students with their writing processes. Uh, so it's important to keep in mind that the role that the mentor plays, that we decide together, mentor and faculty, um, affects how we interact with the students, and thus that affects the type of feedback that the students receive. Uh, so for this to work, all the relationships have to be functioning properly. Uh, that includes student-teacher relationship, the student-mentor relationship, and the teacher-mentor.